English speaking course. Watching TV. Many Christians worldwide celebrate Easter with special church services, music, candlelight, flowers, and the ringing of church bells. Mom, what is the Easter bunny? Well, hmm.、Huh. It's a bunny that comes around this time of year and leaves colored eggs and candy around the house for kids. Why don't we get any? Because he doesn't come here. Why not? Because we have enough. He usually visits people who need it more than we do. I see. Can I have some candy? Not right now, sweetheart. It's bad for your teeth if you eat too much. Okay, Dad. Can we change the channel? I want to watch a TV series. Okay. In that family, who is the dad, Mom? She's divorced. The dad doesn't live with them anymore. Will they see him? I'm not sure, but he doesn't live there anymore. I don't want you to get divorced, Mommy. Why would we get a divorce? Because lots of people do. Alice's parents just got divorced. Why did they do that? Because Alice's parents don't love each other anymore. Don't worry, Andrew. I love your mommy, and she loves me. And we both love you very much. I don't want to get divorced either. Thanks, Dad. I'm the one who's thankful for having a happy family like this. I love you, Dad. I love you, Mom. We love you too. Time for bed. What game are you playing? The racing game, Dad. Who's the winner? Of course, it's me. Zach is so bad at this game. You're bad at this game, not me. Let's see who the real winner is. I already said I won. Let's play again. No, now it's bedtime. But Dad, time for bed. But we haven't finished reading the manga yet. Just read it tomorrow. Please, Dad. Yes, it's a really good manga, Dad. Even if I agree, your mom won't. Let's go to sleep. Okay, Dad. Hey, Zach. We can use the table lamp to read the manga. That's a great idea. Are the kids asleep yet? I think they're asleep now. I want to check again. Don't worry, time for bed, honey. I'll be back soon. Okay. They're asleep. Good night, Zach. Good night, Will. Why is the table lamp on? They haven't slept yet. I left a book next to the table lamp. Why is it in his hands? Mom startled me. Me too. Do you think Mom left the room? Yes, I think so. Let's keep reading. Gotcha. Huh? Oh, oh my God. God! You scared me. Time for bed, kids. Doing the cleaning. The blue team plays really well. Yes, they will definitely win. I prefer the red team because number ten looks cool. Yeah. But the blue team is going to win. Guys. Yes, yes honey. Mom. Today is the last Saturday of the month. So, it's time to clean the house. Oh no! Let's get up and clean. Your room is already messy. 
Yes, Dad. Honey? Yes, honey? Your workroom is also messy and needs cleaning. R right now? Yes. All right. Vincent? Yes, Mom? After cleaning your room, can you hang out the clothes? I think we shouldn't hang them out now. It looks like it might rain. Okay, so when it's sunny, we'll hang them out. Okay, Mom. Would you like me to help with anything else? Can you mow the lawn in the garden with Dave? Okay, Mom. Thank you. How's the cleaning going? I'm halfway through it. Very good. I'll clean my room faster than Vincent and Dad. You will. After you finish your room, can you help me throw out the garbage? Of course, Mom. I will take out the garbage. Thank you. Then you and Vincent will mow the lawn in the garden, okay? Sure, Mom. Honey? Yes, honey? Please help me fix the lights in the kitchen and the garage. Looks like they're broken. Sure. I'll be in the kitchen right away. Thank you. Tutoring the child. Tom, why do you look so sad? Nothing. Really? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to cook lunch. Julia, I... What happened? I will tell you this. But promise you won't be mad at me. And please don't tell Mom about this. Promise? Okay. I had a math test today. And my math test got a three. What? You had a test today? But last night you watched cartoons instead of studying. Sister, calm down. You promised you wouldn't be mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I'm just yelling. Okay, I know. Now we need to find a solution. I don't want you to keep getting low scores. Do you have any ideas? Will you teach me math? Me? Let me think. You're not good at math either. No, I'm good at math. I'll be your math tutor. We'll study at 7 p.m. every day, okay? Okay, sister. Hello, Mr. Philip. Hi, Julia. Do you need help with anything? Yes, Mr. Philip. I'm going to tutor my brother. This is the first time I've tutored someone, so... I see. How can I become a good tutor? First, you need to understand the topic you'll be tutoring. Pay attention to what your student already knows. Then ask where he's having trouble. After that, work together to set up goals. Thank you, Mr. Philip. And remember to be a good listener. Domestic Expenses I got the electric bill yesterday. How much was it? It's about $100. And I got the water bill today. It's about $70. How much did we spend last month in total? Actually, I've never counted it all up. It's okay, honey. I've never counted them either. We need to start from now. You're right. The cost of everything is going up. We need to keep our spending under control. And not live beyond our means. We should save money for traveling. I'll cut down on expenses from now on. I'll keep a tight rein on spending from now on too, honey. Let's do it together. I promise. Three months later. How much did we spend on living expenses last month? $3,045. Oh, 
That's a reasonable number. Yeah, it's pretty good. Last month, we spent about $413 on health care. I spent about $150 on clothing. What about entertainment costs? About $300. Shall we travel next month? I think it's possible. Okay, let's do it. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Paris. Okay, let's go there. We need to calculate the cost of the trip. Let's do it right now. Okay. Making a telephone call. It's time to go to school, sweetheart. Mom, I don't feel well. Let me see. <gasps> you have a fever. I think I can't go to school today. Let's brush your teeth and wash your face. I'll take you to the doctor. Okay, Mom. <laughs> Dr. Mark's office, how may I help you? I'd like to make an appointment to see the doctor. My daughter has a fever. How old is she? She's 12 years old. Okay. Can you come in this morning? Yes, this morning is fine. Is 10 o'clock okay for you? That's fine with me. May I have your daughter's name? She is Stella Collin. Has she seen Dr. Mark before? No, she hasn't. Okay. Could you please wait for a few seconds? Sure. Okay, I've scheduled you for 10 o'clock this morning. Thank you. Good morning. This is Wallace School. How may I help you? Good morning. This is Laura Smith Collin. I'm calling about my daughter, Stella. She's not feeling well today. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope it's not too bad. Thank you. It's nothing serious. Could I get her homework for today? Okay. Can I have your email address for the teachers? They can send the homework to you. Sure. Do you have my email on file? lauracollin26 at gmail.com. Is that correct? Yes, that's it. Thank you very much. I hope Stella feels better soon. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Dinner time. Hi, Rose. Hello, Mom. How are you? I'm great. How's it going? I miss you, Mom. I miss you, too. Mom and Dad are going to cook a big dinner this Saturday night. Would you like to join? Yes, I'd love to. Could you call your brother and ask him if he can come? I tried, but I can't reach him. Okay, I'll call him. See you, Mom. Goodbye. Love you. Love you too. Hi, is Alex there? What's up, sister? Are you free this Saturday? Yes, I'm free. Why? Our family will have dinner at home. That sounds great. I miss mom and dad so much. Don't be late, please. You're always late. Of course I won't be. See ya, Alex. We should pick a day every month to have dinner like this. You're right, Dad. Will Alex come? Of course, Mom. He's just always late as usual. Good evening, everyone. Hello, son. I got this for you, Dad. Thank you. And this is for Mom. Thank you. I miss you, Alex. I miss you too, Mom. Where's my gift? Wait for your birthday. Hey, that's not fair. Come here, everyone. Group hug! How's work been lately, Alex? My business is going very well. 
I have a steady stream of clients. That's my son. You're amazing. How is your work, Rose? I got promoted. I'm planning to be a manager soon. Work is getting busier, but I love it. That's so cool. You're not only beautiful, but also talented. We should raise a toast. So, what are your plans for tomorrow? I don't know yet. Do you want to go to a movie or something? That sounds like a good idea. Which film should we watch? Cinemax 26 is showing Enchanted. Maybe we should grab something to eat beforehand. That works for me. Where do you want to meet? How about the subway station? Okay, I'll meet you there at 1 p.m. What are we going to do this Saturday? The cinema is showing Super Blonde. I know, but I'm not sure if it'll be any good. There are lots of good reviews about it. Okay, let's go watch it on Saturday then. Let's meet for lunch at 11 a.m. and then head to the movie. Great. Let's meet at 11 a.m. in front of Tower Cinema. What kinds of movies do you prefer to watch? Currently, I enjoy both drama and science fiction films. That's an interesting combination. What about Western films? Westerns and horror films are two genres that I don't really like. Why don't you like horror films? They're very interesting. I think they have interesting concepts, but the stories always feel kind of similar. It's even a bit silly. Like, everyone always ends up alone in a creepy house. I get what you're saying. It's kind of a movie trope. They need to create tension somehow. Do you want to go to the movies tomorrow? That sounds like a great idea. What movie are we going to watch? We are going to watch Bad Guys. It's a really popular movie right now. Right. Lots of good reviews about it. But my girlfriend really wants to see that film, so I don't want to watch it without her. I'll watch it with her later. What about The Ring? Isn't that a horror movie? Come on, it'll be fun. It's not that scary. Okay, let's go watch The Ring tomorrow. See you tomorrow. How are your classes going this semester? Oh, everything is fine. My science class is fantastic. Do you think it's your favorite class? I'm not sure it's my favorite, but it's quite interesting. What subject do you like the most? I really enjoy studying business. That sounds good. If you give it a try, I think you'll like it too. Hi, David. How are you? Never better. And you? Everything's fine. Wow, you're so talented. This painting is beautiful. Thanks. I just started learning to draw recently. What type of painting do you like to do? I love painting with oil. Sounds fascinating. What are you up to, Joey? I'm just sitting here watching TV. 
I'm completely bored. I have no idea what I'm going to do today, and it's only 10 a.m. Same here. Do you think we're kind of boring? Maybe. None of us really has any hobbies. That's true. What should we do for fun? It depends on what you enjoy doing. What do you mean? Well, I love doodling in my notebook. What about you? What do you like to do for fun? I enjoy playing the piano when I have free time. That sounds like a fun hobby. Hobbies are great. I'm going to make a list of everything I enjoy doing. That's a great idea. I'm going to do the same. What are your plans? I'm not sure. What about you? I was just going for a walk. That sounds boring. I know, but I don't know what else to do besides walking. I play basketball twice a week with some friends. That sounds fun. Why don't you join us next time? Sure, let me know when you play again. All I do during the day is work and watch TV. I should definitely start thinking about my health. Me too. What should we do? We should do more outdoor activities. We'll get some exercise that way. I'm thinking of taking tennis lessons. In the afternoon, I always have an hour to myself. That's nice. How much does it cost? It's about $120 a month. Playing tennis twice a week would be a good start. Aside from work and watching TV, what else do you do? When I have free time, I like to go to the gym. Oh, which gym do you go to? I joined a call gym a few months ago. What do you do there? I usually spend 30 minutes on the bike for cardio and then 45 minutes doing weights. Do you go often? I'd like to go four times a week, but I'm too lazy. I only went once last week. Let's go work out later today, Jimmy. Sure. When do you want to go? How about 5.30 p.m.? Okay. Today, we'll do calf exercises. Hey, I just finished running at our company gym, so my legs are sore. Let's focus on arms and abs today. I'm on a weekly schedule. You're messing everything up. Come on. We'll just switch for two days. You can do calves on Friday. Okay, I'll see you at the gym at 5.30 p.m. You look really muscular, John. Yeah, I've been working out a lot. How long have you been weightlifting? Oh, for over a year and a half. The last time I saw you was about eight months ago. Yeah, it's been a while. Do you go to the gym often? I go every day except Sunday. You're really dedicated. How many hours a day do you work out? About three hours. Which gym do you go to? I signed up for the annual plan at Sun Gym. I know that place. Maybe I should start working out too. My muscles are getting weak like noodles. The weather is awful. Yes, it has been raining a lot lately. 
Because of the constant rain, I've been viewing a lot of films at home. I hate rain. According to the weather forecast, it will rain for the next eight days. What? That's terrible. I'm starting to grow bored. Despite the rain, we should do something. I agree. What exactly do you have in mind? Let's go to the mall because I haven't been there in a long time. Okay. They have a cinema theater where we may see a movie if we grow bored. True. I'll drop by your apartment right now. Don't forget to bring your umbrella, okay? I did not understand. Mom, please close your eyes. Close my eyes? For what? Just do it, please. Trust me. But why? I did not understand. I'm cooking. I want you to see something. What is that? You make me so curious. No, Mom. It's a small surprise. Okay. Open your eyes, Bob. Oh my God, a cake. I made it myself as your gift for Mother's Day. Oh, my sweetie. Thank you so much. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. Where are you from? Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Sarah. Hi, I'm Alex. Where are you from? Can you guess? Uh, Germany. Oh, how can you know that? Oh, am I right? Yeah, I'm from Germany. Have you ever been there? You know, I spent two weeks in Germany enjoying my summer holiday, and your country is fantastic. Thanks. Where are you from? I'm from France. And I haven't been there. I wish I could visit your country once. Hope so, but the best time to visit France is not now. The weather is not suitable for sightseeing. I will add it to my bucket list. You will have a great time there. I believe that. I got it. Mr. David, you have a meeting in 10 minutes. Miss Sarah, I forgot to tell you, but please cancel the meeting for me. Oh, what happened? I have to go home now. My family has some problems. I mean, my son. I have to go. I got it. Help me rearrange it with the clients. Yes, I will inform you later. And the documents and reports. You tell the departments to send me via email. I will check them. I remember. Do you need me to call the driver? No, I will drive myself. Yes. If there's something you can handle, just do it yourself, or you can call me. I understand, sir. I wish you well. Thank you for being here with me. Don't say that, Lucy. Come on, don't cry. I don't want you to go, but I can't keep you here. I will come back soon. It's only two years. Normally we are always together. It has been more than 10 years. Now you're studying abroad. I don't know what to do without you. You're gonna be all right, I believe that. You are strong. If you keep crying, I won't be able to go. Okay. Go ahead. It's nearly late. I know. I will call you regularly. I wish you well. Remember to take care of your health and do not study too late. Don't take a bath at night. Do you remember? I remember. Goodbye. Bye. Don't cry. I will be back soon.
Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.